The evidence board has been updated. We might be able to find some correlations between Talons and other cryptids. You think people confused a Talon for something else? Maybe the Chupacabra was a Talon. What about Bigfoot? Don't forget that you have a rendezvous with Mr. Hendricks. Thanks for the heads up, Belfry. grabbed Hendrix. We have reports of gang activity. With luck, that's Hendrix. We need officers near the Gotham Naval Research Facility. Seems like I found the party. We must stop. What's that Thurman doing here? You cross the court, Nightwing. Yeah. <laughs> 
I had a feeling this day was coming. You wouldn't believe the things that I heard at the hotel. Probably why the court wanted you silenced. Shit, they're real? That explains the masks. Look, one of my guys was feeding them info. And you know what? You should probably have all the same intel, too. Thanks for the drive. We'll take care of it from here. This city is going to the birds, I swear. Belfry, I dealt with the court. You got a data drive for the trouble. Excellent. Please return to the Belfry so we can evaluate next steps. We're near the scene. Time to leave. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Raish is... was a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. And that is until he showed up and... Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss him. Excellent. The drive Mr. Hendricks provided us contains exactly what we need. I've set up a safe house for Mr. Hendricks. His original one was compromised, but he'll be all right now. Glad to hear it.
making this difficult. Belfry, I'm at the Orchard Hotel. The balcony door should be open. That's your entry point. Penthouse? Come on. You could appreciate the lengths I go to for you a little more, sir. Belfry, I'm in. Time to listen in on some owls. Find out who's who. You could probably eavesdrop from the ballroom if you can find a good vantage point. Just make sure no one sees you. Ballroom's right there. No way all these people knew Bruce. I heard the Wycliffs are coming tonight. They'd be stupid not to. Taking so long. The party will be over by the time they let us in. Are you always this impatient? What was that? <laughs> Much as I'd like to stop and argue, I need to find the ballroom. This must be the entrance. Why else would they put this here? Again with your stupid theory? You saw the elevator. The hotel doesn't have a 13th floor. <laughs> Spooky. We'll impress the voice tonight. <laughs> Belfry, the security systems are down. Nice. Don't forget, those guards are court members, so punch away.
I know you're here. Show yourself immediately. Someone's got to be here! Someone! <gasps> Show him who he- There we go. A way in. Belfry, I'm heading inside the ballroom. Nice. Who, who's a member of the Court of Owls? Record as much as possible. We need as much data as we can get. Did you sign the guest book? How could I not? I've got people to impress. Did you see some of the names in there? I did. Senators, judges, CEOs, even the mayor's here. Have you been to the hotel's east staircase? The one they sealed off? I hear it's haunted. That's what I heard too. Strange noises, almost cries, and scratches in the walls. Ugh. <laughs> Look at this. Even in death, Wayne tries to outdo us. Let him have his final hurrah. After tonight, it won't be a problem. You're right. His death ought to be a celebration. What do you think this is? That's a few matches. We're gonna get them all. to believe Bruce Wayne is gone. I know. I was hoping to be a state this year. Business is good. Great evening. Who would have thought this would give the rest of us such a kick in the pants? Sorry to interrupt, but it's time. Ah, of course. We'll have to continue this later. There you are. Hello, Zoe. 
of Gotham. May I please have your attention? It is my absolute pleasure to present our host for the evening. Jeez, have a little subtlety. That's gotta be the voice of the court. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. match. Holy crap, that really is the voice of the court. Awesome. If you follow him, we might be able to figure out who he is. Sir, the labs are requesting more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir. What is it? You know I can't take phone calls when I'm working.
Are the arrangements made? If it pleases the court. Excellent. I'll see you downstairs. The voice disappeared in an elevator. I lost him. I lost him too. He was between floors when the signal went out. Nightwing, we just found a hidden 13th floor in the hotel blueprints. Maybe that's where the voice went. What was it? D minor followed by... Ah, never mind. Secret 13th floor, here I come. Belfry, I got a door here. Definitely court branded. Understood. Tread carefully. has to hide. is watching from inside of Gotham's walls. This is a literal truth as we build our perfect nests below the skins of our perfect city. That's the old voice of the court on vinyl. Where'd you go, Mr. Voice? Belfry, any thoughts on where I can find the voice? Belfry? And calm. 
comms are cut off. Great. What might be trying to sneak up and strike? What have we got here? Sorry to cut your meeting short, people. Now, what exactly were you looking at? damage to the court if we can get it to the authorities. But there's still plenty to clean. Destroy everything. Make it so life so never existed. We must send a message. Everyone named here. All these people are either dead or missing. This must be a hit list. To the court. history of Gotham's architecture. I guess the court was involved in all of these buildings. This is the courthouse. GCPD Central. That's the Gotham Cathedral. City Hall. This has something to do with the dates on that wall. Huh. These numbers must be the years the buildings were constructed or renovated. 
by the court, naturally. of power in the city. The court would want to control that. Of course. I should have known it was you. for progress, a paean to the might of men and money, a utopia, and we alone made it. It's high time we talk. Let's get this over with. Destroy Gotham. Destroy Gotham? No, we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. Yeah, sure. You're just like every other masked villain. I'm not the one wearing a mask. Richard. Jacob Kane. But how did you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. People of Gotham may not be perfect, but they don't deserve this. You're destroying the city, not saving it. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies, it's madness. You're not serving us. I don't murder people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. You killed Kirk Langstrom and his assistant. That doesn't help Gotham. That helps you. Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his money to fight for this city. You used it to help yourself. Bruce would have hated you for that. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. We are nothing alike, Kane. Understood. 
I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Clearly, I have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. We should get back to the ballroom. Shadows just crashed the party. Understood. Paramedics have been called. Brutal. Most of these people. Let's go. Montoya, it's Nightwing. I take it you heard what happened at the hotel. Saw it all firsthand. I was there. Yeah? Then care to tell me who the hell those assassins were? That was the League of Shadows. They're bad news. I'll send you our files. slaughter of some of our best and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the commissioner could still be helping them. She didn't marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. 
Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe. Isabella Haas. Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the league. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. <sighs> the almighty voice was right, you know. <laughs> no one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. We updated the board while you were out. Catherine Kane isn't doing this city any favors. Things are bad enough between the court and the League without the cops stirring them up. Our nights are about to get a lot more complicated. <laughs>